You remember that time where we all first got Minecraft and decided to build some underground bunkers? Well guess what, in this episode I've built a very OP underground bunker, which has everything you need inside it. And hopefully you guys do end up enjoying the video, so let's hop straight into it. So since the last episode we did finally manage to build our main base, but it is going to need some upgrading, which is what we're going to do in this episode. But as you can tell, my armor is not enchanted, so that means it's time to enchant. Luckily I did do a bunch of AFK at the creeper farm to be able to get a bunch of netherite so that means we do have a bunch wow. of levels all right so let's actually go down and see what we can get i'm hoping we can get some good protection ones because this is hardcore i'm breaking free on the chest plate i'm breaking free on the helmet and protection four on the leggings oh very nice and i'm breaking free that is actually very very good so we can put these back on and now are we going to get anything good hmm, all right let's go for that just unbreaking free. That's actually a very good helmet because now we can just get a bunch of books to upgrade the rest. And I'm breaking free. And just I'm breaking free as well. But I think I'm actually am going to try and enchant this again. Again, I'm breaking free. Come on, come on, come on. Fire protection free. Ugh, I don't like that actually. Ooh, protection four. Look at that. Okay, there's no I'm breaking on it, but that's okay. And I think actually, do you know what? We do have a few more levels. So let's go ahead and try to do a helmet again. Ah, uh, protection free. That's not what we're looking for. Respiration free though is actually quite good. <laughs> Oh, I just realized something. I was taking a screenshot of my build for the thumbnail of the past episode, but my camel is running loose. Yeah, I don't want the camel to run into some cactuses again and die. But here's our first challenge. Why did that guy just disappear? That was weird. Okay. But now there is another problem. All of my tools are getting kind of low health, which means it's actually time to build a villager breeder so we can get some mending books. And it is going to be quite crucial to our survival. The good thing is, is that we do have quite a few rails that we can use. <coughs> Uh, yep, you didn't see that guys. I did not need that gold at all to be able to make this armor right here But yes, don't worry I will end up filling that back up very soon and in order for us to build the best secret underground bunker that you can possibly build We're gonna have a few tasks and task one is gonna start off by building a villager breeder because we do need some mending books I need to find the middle of the pyramid because I want to do like a massive spiral staircase that goes down to other levels And that is not it at all. So I need to go one here and then it's probably around about there So I have done a rough staircase right now. So once we've actually finished inside here, we are going to make it about this level right here. And I have done a very, very large staircase going down. But for now, we do need to focus on our villager breeder because I am running out of tools. But I did need to do this so I can actually get some sandstone, which now is something that we have plenty of. And I am going to be winging this build because I have no idea what I'm really doing because it is a odd shape. <gasps> Oh, that was the wrong block. <laughs> uh, you can't use sand, by the way, to go outwards. There is one thing I am going to need, though, before we can continue, is some dirt. Because we are going to need to be able to plant some crops. But it does look like on the top of the mesa there, there is quite a bit of dirt. So it should be quite easy to get. Because that is one thing I have noticed with the desert. There is not a lot of dirt, which means planting crops is a bit annoying. But luckily, there has been a lot of hay bales in the villages, which has provided me with a bunch of food. Uh, I'm sorry, but you're going to have to come with me right now, buddy. Ah, this is not quite the dirt I was expecting it to be. Oh, that's a bit annoying. Well, the villager breeder is complete and it actually kind of looks kind of cool. I actually quite like that. It looks different, but it, it does work. It does work. So now the only thing is we need to figure out how we're going to get the villagers inside. And actually, I did forget my rails as well. All right, I am going to need a few more rails, probably like another stack and a half to get all the way over here or maybe a little bit more. So I'm going to make two stacks of rails and hopefully we can get some villagers in there. Oh no, I think I used all my iron to make these rails and I don't have a minecart. I hope I have some iron left over. Actually, I think I do in the chest that's over here. Oh, we have plenty. Oh, that is really good. I thought we had none. All right, there's one. Wait, that guy is just zooming along. Is he going to slow down now? Oh yeah, there we go. Yee-hee! Roller coaster ride. Okay, so now all I need to do is add some beds and it should start producing some villagers. 
Well, I'm hoping, of course. All right, there we go. We now have two farmers and it should start working. And hopefully they should start breeding. Okay, so now that we have actually finished the villager breeder, I am going to wait to see if some spawn. Because in the past, I'm not going to lie, I've always failed to make these. There's always been a little problem. But whilst we wait for that, I am going to want to fix this up right here and go and get some more blocks. So that means we got to head to the Mesa biome and start collecting some gold. And also, guys, if you do have a name for the camel right here, please let me know in the comment section below because I do have quite a lot of name tags. So it'd be very nice to name the camel. Oh, and actually, most of you did mention to me that you don't like how it's very dark in the caves so i did actually get something that is going to be quite useful which is full bright so now it should make the caves nice and bright so all of you guys can see and yes it did perfect oh my goodness i think i got a few arrows in me <laughs> where is all the gold man oh no way oh a big vein as well what's that 22 diamonds from one vein. That's actually insane. Oh, I'm so happy I, I got that. Oh, there's a lot of mobs here, though. A lot of skeletons as well, which I hate. I can just lure one at a time. We should be good. Oh, there's two. Okay, they're not strong. It's not a full diamond one. What is all these mobs? There's a lot of creepers defending that diamond block over there. Another golden apple. I'll take that. Two name tags. Okay. I'm gonna punch one, but come on. Please work. No. Why is it not working? I'm not gonna lie, I did not have the best of luck trying to find some gold, but we do have 21 gold blocks right now, which is still quite a decent amount. So hopefully we can actually add an extra layer to the top here. Okay, now I don't think we're gonna have enough, so I'm going to not do that right now. But what we are going to do is actually finally build a storage room because right now I have pretty much run out of the chest space completely and it'd be nice to get a chest room going pretty soon. So I was thinking we can do the chest room right here. So that means we are gonna to have to mine out quite a decent space again because we do not have enough room right now at all. Actually, whilst cutting out all of this area, I had an idea of making a massive aquarium in every room. And maybe even we can connect it through the roof to this main pillar here. So I think that could be really, really cool. So we have some fish in the pillar and then they go across the roof maybe, or maybe underground and all the way up to these aquariums. So now what I do need to do though is actually get a bunch of wood, maybe some stone bricks. We're gonna need a bunch of stuff. But actually in order to do that first, we are gonna need a few books from the village. So luckily I did manage to repair the villager breeder and the thing that was bugging it, I think was all of the villagers in the village over here. Because as soon as they- uh, Mysteriously died. No idea what happened. They uh, started to spawn in the villager breeder. Wow, that's actually a good book. It's not what we need. Perfect. Oh, there we go. Exactly what we needed. At this point, though, I really think it is time to finally enchant a bow. So we can get Unbreaking Free, which I think we'll go for Powerful and Flame. Okay, that is insane. <laughs> that is such a great bow. And if I am not mistaken, in one of the first temples, there was an infinity book. So I think we're going to head over to the temple quickly and try to find that infinity book. Was it this temple, though? That is the question. And there is mobs down here. As long as there are no creepers, we are good. Ouch. And there was a saddle here this whole time as well. <gasps> uh, infinity, there we go. Actually, in the first episode, I did get some information that will help out quite a bit. And apparently, the camel eats some cactus. Yes, he does. There you go. Enjoy that, my friend. All right, so now let's combine this book with the bow. Um, it's not working. Okay, there we go. Perfect. Yes, we finally have an infinity flame bow. I, forget, I keep forgetting that it's got flame on it as well. Oh, that's a really, really good bow. Now that I've finally enchanted a bow and also added silk touch to my pickaxe, it was finally time to get some resources, which meant I was going to have to get a bunch of wood and a bunch of stone. <laughs> Alright, so we do have a decent amount of blocks right now, so I think we can actually finally get started on building. So, of course, I am going to use some of the typical blocks, and that is some spruce logs. And actually, before we start placing a bunch of detail work, I think I'm going to place the boxes first. There we go. I think that should do the trick for now. If we do need some more box space, we can always expand it a little bit further that way later on. Or even make like a staircase and make an extra layer underneath or on top. So I think we are just going to do something quite simple because we got a lot of rooms that we need to do. And I think on top here we can have some like glowstone blocks or something so it lights up the chests nicely and even maybe some in the back as well. So I'm going to do that on both sides real quick and I think it should look quite nice. 
And for the floor, I think we are just going to do something simple as well and keep it going with the spruce slabs, just so it fits in nicely with the staircase. But now there is a couple more things that we need to do. One is go to the nether and get some glowstone. And also, I think we are going to have to go and try and defeat the ender dragon pretty soon because we are going to need a lot of sand. But for now, I'm just going to head to the nether, grab a few blocks of glowstone, and then we're going to come back here and just light up this area a little bit. One day I'm going to fall down that hole. I, I've jumped over this hole so many times now. Uh, I still haven't fallen down it, which I'm very surprised about. I think the next part we're going to have to build to the bunker is actually a farm because I'm starting to run very low on food. What are you doing here? What are you doing here? Oh, ho, ho, I'm going to patch you up before I fall in there and you as well. Oh, what a shot. <laughs> yeah, you can't mess with me now. I've got a bow. And there we have it. A nice, simple chest room. And hopefully we can get some glass going pretty soon because I really am looking forward to building a nice aquarium. So I think what the next thing we are going to do now that we have completed the chest room is a villager trading hall. Because as you can tell, some of my tools are not looking very good. So we do need some mending books. Oh, no. Oh, no. All the villagers I know are escaping right now. <laughs> Quick, we need to hurry up. Get the lectern out. There we go. I got a feeling this is going to take a long time. Nice, we finally got it. We got mending. But I am going to have to go try lock it in though. There we go. Our first mending book. We do need to get this guy bitten by a zombie and then we can actually cure him because then it would be a lot cheaper. But hopefully this guy will now follow me if I keep placing his table down now that we actually have a mending book we are going to need to put it together with this pickaxe and then we're going to head over to the creeper farm just to repair the pickaxe so we can actually build some more bunkers or some more rooms as we should call them so now that the pickaxe is repaired i think it's time to make some new rooms so cue the montage There we go, I finally managed to mine out a bunch of rooms. So I got one all the way at the bottom, another one here, which is most probably gonna be the crop farm because I wanted to make this as the animal farm at first, but I thought as the villager breeder is above us, we're just gonna hear animals 24 seven. So here was gonna be a smelting room. And of course here is gonna be the trading hall. So I think what I'm gonna do now is just try to get a bunch of villagers up in their designated spots here and get a bunch of trades going. So I've managed to get a few villagers in here and I have also managed to get them all infected and then managed to cure them so that means we do have some good prices but for our next task I want to finally defeat the ender dragon which means I'm gonna need some better upgrades on some of these armor pieces like this one right here needs some protection for and over here I want some feather falling and I'm probably am gonna go and enchant my neverite sword a little bit better as well because we are gonna need some ender pearls so that pretty much means I need to head to the a creeper farm get a bunch of xp and hopefully that means we can get some good enchants so i'm probably gonna bring my enchanting setup with me so then i don't have to keep running back over to here and it'll just make everything a lot easier so i finally managed to get a looting free enchant and it's literally just looting free i've been up there for a very long time now but that means i am gonna have to turn this one into a neverite sword so we can combine them together and there's one thing that i have noticed with my world right now is that there's no phantoms that have spawned it's been like a few night cycles right now and there's no phantoms whatsoever. So I think what I'm going to do in the meantime is try to look for some sunken ruins because I really do want to find a sniffer mob. And there's a spare boat there. <laughs> so I finally just done a little bit of research and realized to actually get a sniffer egg, you need to craft the brush itself. But the only problem is it does require a feather, which I am not quite sure that I actually have. So what I think I'm going to do is actually head over to the jungle and hopefully there we can actually find a feather. And also on the way there, I can also try to look for some endermen because we are going to need quite a decent amount of eyes of ender. Ah, there we go. That's what we were looking for. Ouch. I can't hit him. <laughs> okay, we got three phantom membranes. That should actually be plenty. But I can't remember where the jungle is. Ah, there it is. Jungle's just over there. Chickens. Yes, perfect. All right, in order to make this, I think all we need is one stick, 
a one copper ingot and a feather. So if I do it like this, no, nope, like that, no. Nope. Wait, have I got this wrong? Ah, like that. All right, we almost had it, almost had it. If I'm not mistaken though, at one of these ruins over here, I did find some suspicious sand or gravel. I can't remember what it was, but there was something that was very, very suspicious. <laughs> And I also do want to see if you can find some at these abandoned portals. It would be kind of nice if you could. I'm not sure if that is actually the case. So is there any suspicious sand around? It doesn't look like it. Well, I guess it is only in abandoned ruins. The question is though, where are they? Ah, there they are. What's this? Oh, got one bit of coal. <laughs> What's this? This is a... What even is that? Oh, a pottery shard. Is there any more susp- Oh, here. There's loads, actually. This is actually quite good. Ah, oh, thank you. I've always wanted a wooden hoe. But you can wipe normal stuff as well. Okay, I'm not going to do that one because it's another wooden hoe and it's something that we really don't need. I keep getting wooden hoes. I don't want any wooden hoes. Oh, what's this? Oh, a golden nugget. <laughs> I'm looking very lucky. I'm getting a lot of hoes. Oh, hang on. Wait, is this a nick? I think it is. Yes, it is. Oh, that's really good. All right, let's check around here, see if there's any more. And I think we'd actually go home. Oh, oh, no way. I just got a second egg. Yes, finally some luck. All right, we actually do have two eggs now, so I think we will head back home. As if I can find my boat, though. Oh, it's over there. And I, I do need to get this ruin as well, just in case we get another egg. You've got to be kidding me. <laughs> uh, we got three eggs now. Oh, that is so cool. Actually, I am going to have to kill some more endermen as well because we do not have quite enough ender pearls right now. We do only have nine. We are going to need a few more. So please come over here, sir. There's a few more right there. There we go. Any more endermen anywhere? He keeps dodging me. Stop. Ah, there is one thing that we are missing, and that is blaze rods. But luckily, we do have a nether fortress right next to our house. I might have messed up there by accidentally hitting that pig, uh, piglin. Ah, oh, this ain't good. I think that is plenty. We can head home. Hopefully, we won't get attacked, though. That is my only concern right now. Oh, they're angry. Oh, no. Are these guys angry at me down here? They seem chill. You angry? All right, looks like they've forgotten. I think now all we need to do, though, is brew up a few potions, and then we can actually head into the end, hopefully, and try to defeat the Ender Dragon. And because I really think it is about time we get ourselves an Elytra. It's finally time for us to go and defeat the Ender Dragon, which means I do need to throw my first Eye of Ender, and it is directing us pretty much back to our spawn point. And the first one broke. Great. What a fantastic start. Probably forgetting something very crucial. I'm going to regret it a lot when I get there. And I just noticed what I am forgetting. But luckily, I just remembered. We need some gunpowder. Don't need a lot. Early enough to make a few. Just a few. Hopefully, we can make a few rockets. Oh, well, that's the only gunpowder we have right here. Oh, well. That should be plenty, right? 39 rockets. That should do the trick. All right. Let's head to the end portal. And hopefully, it isn't too far. <laughs> because I don't want to have to travel like 10,000 blocks. Because I'm not bringing a bed with me. So that means we're going to have to fight our way through the night time and try to end up at the yen portal wow that is the second one that's broke as well if we just get really unlucky and all of them break that's not going to be very good hey finally we got one back i think it's already turning which is very good if that's the case because we are quite close to our house still so that would be very very nice ah it looks like it's here ah it's trying to go underground Wait, this isn't a, this isn't, <laughs> this isn't what we're looking for. This isn't a stronghold. Oh, no. All right, we managed to seal that off. But which direction do we need to go? That way. Okay, nice to know. Yes, we have found it. Oh, that was actually a lot easier than I thought it'd be. Oh, a box. And a library. Perfect. I'm actually going to take a few bookshelves because it's always nice when we want to build some more enchanting tables around. Mending Power 4. That's actually a very good book. I think we should go and check the one up top first. And then hopefully we can find the portal pretty soon. Protection 3, Sharpness 3, and Riptide 2. These are actually some really, really good books. Get it off! Get off me! Ugh. Now where is the portal? Did we loot this box? No, we did not. Okay, nice. Oh, hello there. This dungeon goes so deep. Oh, no. Come on, where is the portal? Wait, it keeps going down? Seriously? We're gonna hit bedrock soon. Okay, this place is seriously like a maze. 
Okay, that's where I came in. So I haven't gone this way. Oh, there's another library, which is nice. Hopefully there is some really good books in here. What? That is so many books. Efficiency 3, Bane of Arthropods, Aqua Infinity, Sweeping Edge, Sharpness 3, Efficiency 4. Okay, this is actually crazy. Protect... Oh my goodness. Feather Falling 4. Ah, oh, yes. That is actually so nice. I'm going to take that with me right now. I've never seen that many books in my life in a chest. That is like insane. Okay, any good ones in here? It's okay if there isn't because down there had loads. Okay, <laughs> I wasn't expecting no books at all. I'm guessing they put all the books in the one box down there. <laughs> Right, so it went through the library. Wait, is that it? Ugh, where do we go? I'm so confused. I think what I'm going to do is literally just mine in all the little dead ends and try to hopefully find like a secret passage. Oh, is this one here? Oh, there is a bookshelf or is that just... Oh, I've already been here. <laughs> oh, hang on. We might have a breakthrough right here. Oh, I don't think we've actually been here because I've never seen this spiral staircase. Yes! Finally! Oh, I'm so happy. Oh, I'm so happy. Oh, I'm so, so happy. All right. Boom, 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 ba -dum, boom, boom. There we go. Guess what time it is? It is finally time for us to jump into this portal and hopefully not die. Let's just get our potions prepared. These are the strength. I swear strength potions before used to be red, though. And, of course, these slow-falling potions. I think it's time. Yeet. Why are you mad at me? I am terrible at shooting these tiles out. I can't hit these. <laughs> Finally. There we go. That's what I like to see. All right, who's left? There's one in, in this cage right here. Hopefully we can get that real quick. Yes. I don't know if one's up there or not. I think it's time for the strength potion. Come on! I am terrible with my bow. <laughs> oh, look at the end of an arrow angry at the dragon. Oh, I used to be so much better with a bow. I did not want to do that, but let's just take it anyway. Come on, we're so close. We're so close. Come on, come on, come on. Yes! Finally, we have defeated the Ender Dragon. Yes! And that means we get loads of XP as well. Oh, we're going to do so much enchanting when we get back to our base. There we go. Now, the question is, where is the portal? Where are you hiding? Am I blind? Oh, there it is, over there. Okay, that's a great start. We are on a big island. I am actually going to increase our render distance, though, just so hopefully we can spot one a little bit far away. Oh, and no way. If there's a ship on that, that is going to be insane. Okay, I don't think there is a ship on it, though. But I'm not complaining. This is the first one we found. This is one of the smallest end fortress I've ever found. It's actually just one building. I don't think there's going to be any loot in this one. Oh, that's a lot of good stuff. I am just going to run in a straight line and hopefully we will find another end fortress with an elytra. It's been a long time since I've been here. Oh, ho, ho, I just saw something in a corner of my screen. Oh, hang on. I don't think there's a boat on it. <laughs> that is a huge one as well. Is there seriously no boat? Oh, I think there is on the opposite side. Yes, there is. Perfect. Okay, how do we get to there though? And uh, if I'm not mistaken, there was a portal just over here somewhere. Yeah, right over there. Perfect. Ah, uh, leave me alone. Leave me alone. I can't hit you. Oh. oh, there's so many here. That's a very nice pickaxe right there. Uh, let me up. Oh my goodness, there's just so many. Oh, and there we have it. Our first elytra. Yes. And 20 diamonds as well, which is actually really, really good. Oh, my helmet is actually very low. I need to be very careful with that. And of course, we cannot forget the dragon's head. All right, we've got what we came for. I don't get way too much damage, so I think it is time for us to head back home. Which way did we come from, though? Oh, over here. Oh, and I also do remember we need to pick up the egg before we go back as a trophy for finally defeating the ender dragon. Yes. Every time I see this, it always feels like we finished the game. But there is one thing I do want to do first, is head back to the dungeon, and hopefully I can find that Unbreaking Free book, because I would really like to put it on my Elytra. It's actually just so cool how close the dungeon is to our main base. I just need to remember where I went in, though. 
There we go. That's all I wanted. Now I need to find a portal, though. Oh, does it feel good to have an elytra? We just zoom around everywhere now. All right, so on the elytra, we are going to put one of these books. This one, Infinity and Riptide. We already got an Infinity bow, so I think that's what we're going to do. Boom. I'm breaking free. We just need to get mending on everything, and then we should be good. We are also going to get some shulker boxes going, because they are going to be very, very useful for moving all of our loot from in here to our main base. But in order to do that, I am going to need to get a bunch of wood, because we have literally none. Okay, I did kind of mess up and my villagers have all escaped. <laughs> oh, this is annoying. Just go back in, come on, come on. Where are you going? Get back here. All right, oh, and you, there we go. Okay, we have trapped most of them back in their spots. Kind of did want to do some trap doors here. Okay, that's actually really good because then that means I can just go behind and swap it all around and try to figure out what we want for each villager. That means I've got to do exactly the same on this side, but on this side. Oh my goodness. All right, we have run out of wood though, so I do need to go get a little bit more. Come on, let's go in there, please. Oh, what's that guy decides if he wants a job or not? <laughs> I'm just going to continue building. This guy's really annoying. Why wouldn't he just go in his, in his designated area? Come on, just go in there, please. There we have it. So I've done a pretty simple villager hall, and here, as usual, like I did say, we are going to have a massive aquarium. Well, it's not going to be massive, but it's a decent size, and I think I'm going to do it in every single room. But in order to actually get started with that, I want to get rid of this pillar that's in the middle, because that is also going to be a little aquarium. the big question is as the glass do we use panes or do we use full blocks so let me craft up a few panes real quick and see if it does work the only thing is is this little gap here oh and i didn't want to do that right now it doesn't look very good because i don't have optimal fine because i am also using replay mod but i think we will actually do this instead because it'll look like it's a little bit bigger so as of now what we have managed to complete is the walls on the inside of the stairwell and of course the first chest room and if we go down a little a bit lower we do also have our villager trading hall which is pretty much complete just needs to add an aquarium in the back and now i think it is time for us to get started on our farms so i was thinking maybe we can go diagonally across and pretty much make like a diamond shape and hopefully that should work out very well for our farm I don't really need much, but mainly what I do want is just potatoes and maybe some carrots for later on. So once we get some gold or a gold farm going, we can get some golden carrots. But I guess it would be good also to have a little bit of wheat. Oh my goodness, look at that. That is actually really good because I am going to need quite a bit of moss for the next farm. So I'm very, very pleased with that. So as you can tell, I have not done anything too amazing because uh, I just thought of it and we're not going to be in this room for much. Like we're just going to come in here, get some crops and then leave. So there's no point making it such a beautiful room, but I do agree with the other rooms that we need to make them the best looking possible because as I mentioned, we're going to be in those rooms for quite a long time. And there we have it. All I need to do now is get some dirt going and then we can actually start and plant some items because I am starting to run very low on food right now. But whilst we wait, for that i don't know what i'm waiting for but <laughs> what we're waiting for now is just to get this area sorted as well and if you haven't noticed for this design we're doing something pretty simple which is just turning this area into pretty much like a lush cave i know i'm trying to replicate a cave but i am i don't care i am not having any granite <laughs> because it is the ugliest block in the game i don't mind having some ores around but i am not having granite and there we have it it's pretty much complete all i need to do now is go and get some animals and get them down here and actually before we end the episode there is actually one more thing i want to do all right so i think you just meant to place the egg and hopefully it will hatch and i was told that if you put it on moss it actually hatches a lot quicker oh yes he finally spawned oh look at that i don't know what you feed these guys but apparently they're meant to find some seeds for you i think they can find flower seeds yes nice to meet you too oh well, i guess you're the first inhabitant of this place and hopefully you do like it 
Oh yeah, I'll take that as a yes. <laughs> but anyway, guys, I'm going to probably do all the boring stuff off camera, which means filling up these pens with some animals and also finishing the farm up here. But as usual, if you guys did end up enjoying the video, please consider leaving a like because it really, really does help out the channel. And also, if you haven't noticed, we're only 5,000 subscribers away from 100,000. So if you really did enjoy, please consider subscribing and I'll be seeing you in the next video. Peace.